So welcome to part two of what I eat in a day. If you haven't seen part one, make sure you guys go check that out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Mish Love. I've lost 80 pounds and been able to keep it off for three years now. And if you're already a subscriber, you guys already know what it is. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos. I love you guys so much for that. So just like in um, part one and part two, we're gonna do a full day of eating and cooking. Um, all meals on this video is gonna be meal prep friendly. So from the breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner, you can meal prep as well. You also can meal prep your uh, protein shake. I'm going to show you guys as well if you want to. I like to do that part fresh, but you could. Um, that's also an option. So um, in this video, like I said, we're going to do a full day of cooking for weight loss. If there's anything in this video you do not want to add, always feel free to change some things. But overall, this video is going to help you on your weight loss journey. Um, and if you have not been to my channel before, make sure you guys go check that out as well to see exactly how I lost the 80 pounds, how long it took me. Everything you guys want to know about how I lost the weight is on my channel. This one's going to be just be a full day of eating and cooking. Cooking and eating. Yeah. Let's get right into it. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Let me show you guys how I make my cheesecake overnight oats. So simple and delicious. So we're going to do some oats. Um, do honey. No other sweetener. Honey's going to make it pop more. Some chia seeds for all the great stuff you see on the bag, plus some extra protein. And then this right here is going to be the key ingredient, that cheesecake pudding mix. Oh my God, it's so fire. Um, and then your choice of milk, but this is everything that I use. So we're going to do the serving size. So I just read the back of the bag, what the bags say, do for one person per jar. You can do up to five jars. I do three jars, um, you know, at the same time. I don't do more than five. I always add a little bit more milk because my brain tells me to, honestly. Um, and plus, I don't want it to be like dry. I like mine to be a little bit extra wet my overnight oats and then we're going to do that cheesecake pudding and we're just going to put not a lot um i just honestly just put a little um and then i mix it until i can smell it once i can smell the cheesecake flavor and then that's when um i don't add any more um but i like as you see in the video i just bring it up to my nose and i smelt it and i always wanted a little bit more but you do not need a lot like that bag should last you for about 10 overnight oats honestly now you can use any fruit of your choice normally it's like berries or bananas it's what i have in my house so i have bananas so i use bananas and bananas are actually really good with this um combo so this is how i end up looking the next day um it was as you see it's not dry i used to hate overnight oats because i don't know what it was with those recipes but it was just so dry and everything was just sticking together and this just makes it easier and if you don't want to coat like i don't i let it sit for 30 minutes before i eat it so for the first snack we're going to do a blueberry um protein shake using those wild blueberries i love them because they have two times more antioxidants than normal store um blueberries and they last a lot longer because they're in the freezer we're going to do eight ounces of milk one cup of blueberries and for the hemp seeds protein powder and for the collagen we're going to do one scoop each and for the honey we're just going to drizzle a little honey we can always add more so put less and then once you blend it if it's not sweet enough then you can put some more now for the protein powder and for the collagen um, i do get that from ehp labs um, i will link in the description um, the website and also my discount code so you guys can get a discount if you would like to go through them and then that is it is super easy you can actually do this for breakfast too if you want to do a protein shake um, and if you want to add a little bit more carbs you can just add some um, oats in there as well but i like to do this as a snack to help me you know stay full until so for lunch we're gonna do teriyaki salmon with pineapple pico de gallo and some balsamic rice when i tell you guys it was just so freaking good i'm not even gonna lie to you so let me show you how to make it so first you're gonna you can make your teriyaki sauce from scratch i'm horrible at doing it so i just go to the store and i find the teriyaki sauce that has the least amount of calories and the lowest amount of sugar as well um and, th and this is what i get so you're not going to season your salmon. You're going to clean it, poke holes in it, and chop it up. And then you're going to add the teriyaki sauce. The best thing you can do is marinate it because it's going to allow all that teriyaki sauce to get up in that salmon, baby. And it's going to be so much better. But if you can't marinate it, that's fine. Um, but if you can do an hour, 24 hours is the best. And like, as you can see, the, the um, salmon is like a whole nother color from being, you know, been able to marinate overnight. 
Um, so you're going to just add that butter. If you guys see my last video, that's the only butter that I use. You don't need a lot. And then we're going to cook it on medium to high heat for about three minutes each side. It honestly depends on how you like your salmon. Um, I like my salmon to be well done. <laughs> um, that's why I poke holes in it so the, the steam can get all up in the salmon um, as well. I do not like raw food of no sorts. I mean, I eat sushi, don't get me wrong, but not like that. Once your salmon is cooked to your liking, you're going to move it to the side, add you some teriyaki sauce, mix it up so that way it can warm up and then mix it with your salmon. You can skip this part, um, but I like it this way. Now, if you can't find one at your regular grocery store, a teriyaki sauce that is low in sugar, Whole Foods have a really great one. Now let's go to the pico de gallo. Um, you're going to make it to your liking. So you're going to put as much ingredients as you want. So as many pineapples as you want, as many red peppers, as many um, onions, cilantro, jalapeno, um, and one lime because you don't want to make it too limey. Then at that point, it's cilantro and not pico de gallo. So you want to just mix it all really well. Add you a little salt to give it like, you know, the salt is going to like really bring it out, but you're going to make it to your liking. If you don't want rice, you can make it into a salad. You're going to chop you up some kale, drizzle a little olive oil, massage it together, then add your salmon on top of your kale, then add your pico de gallo on top of your salmon, and then boom, you have a salad and it's going to be fire. For snack number two, we're going to do this high fiber smoothie. And yes, you can meal prep this. It has yellow dragon fruit golden kiwi and pineapple um, and coconut water and it's going to have you go to the bathroom and that's what we want okay so you're going to drink this smoothie and make sure you drink water after and it's going to flush you out so let's get right into it so you're going to do one pack of kiwi whatever kiwi that you choose um i like the golden kiwi a lot better than the green it's just a lot sweeter um and like i said it's really high in fiber then we're going to do uh three yellow dragon fruits you can get it from it's a seasonal fruit so you better go get it now because it's not gonna be here forever but you can get it at um sam's club and it tastes way better than the purple one i promise you that so for the pineapple, you can do one pineapple, but honestly, if you end up liking it the second batch, make sure you do three pineapples. The reason why three, because pineapples is the cheapest out of the um, kiwi and the yellow dragon fruit, and it's going to allow it to last a lot longer um, in your freezer. Then you're going to get you some freezer Ziploc bags because we're not doing this every day. This is a once a month task, okay? I just get a big spoon and just do two big um, scoops. You can do three, um, but two honestly is like really enough. I know I was doing three. I was overdoing it but like i said if you do two and you add more pineapple you will get way more bags than you see here that i got but it's such a gem um then you're like i said you're gonna put them in the freezer you're gonna when you're ready to do it you're gonna take it out a little bit so it can unthaw um, and then you're going to get you some pineapple water and you're just going to put all the way to like the four. So like, was that like half a cup? You don't need a lot unless you want it to be like, you know, more watered down than you can. You don't need, I didn't add the honey, but if you want it to be more sweet, you can. But I like that natural flavor and there you go. Super easy to make. So for dinner, we're going to have potatoes, sausage, and saute veggies. You're going to pick your choice of sausage, whatever sausage you like. You're going to chop you up some uh, red peppers, some whatever peppers you want, honestly, but two peppers and a red onions. And then you're going to season your potatoes. You're going to, these are the, primarily the seasonings that I use. And then I always have like one main seasoning to like make it pop. And this is the one that I'm choosing. So we're going to drizzle some olive oil and we're going to season, um, um, pretty well. Um, I like to add salt to my potatoes because it's going to make them pop a lot more. Now this meal is normally in the oven, like it goes in the oven. But when I tell you, please try this over the stove because the potatoes taste so good. The potatoes come out so tender, way better than if you put it in the oven. I'm an oven girl when it comes to like making quick meals like this. It's perfect for the oven, honestly. But once you try it this way, I promise you, you probably won't be putting this type of meal in the oven. So you're just going to cook your sausages um, completely through and then you're going to remove that to the side um, and then we're going to add our potatoes um, for five minutes. So we're gonna add our potatoes for five minutes on high heat covered. So you're gonna cover it for five minutes just to give it like some color. Um, and then you're gonna lower the heat to medium. And when I say high, I'm not talking about like sky high, just a little bit higher than medium. Um, and then you're going to cover it, let it cook for about three minutes um, and then uncover it, add your veggies, 
Then you're going to spray your veggies and mix the veggies and the potatoes up really well so all that seasoning from those potatoes can come onto the veggies and then you're going to cover it for five minutes and the steam from those veggies like all the moisture is going to allow the potatoes to cook and that's what makes it so tender mix again cover again for another five minutes three to five minutes just pay attention to it um and then you're going to mix it at the sausage back again um to warm up the sausage for about three minutes mix it and that's it it's super easy to do like it sounds like a lot but it's easy to do and it tastes so good like all the flavor from the sausages and the potatoes is on the veggies and saute veggies is for one chef's kiss anyway so easy to make so make sure you guys if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and if you watched it all the way through thank you so much and i see you next time